Today's video topic is aerobic capacity. Um, and we're gonna talk a little bit about kind of what aerobic capacity is and kind of the implications it has on the general population as well as for athletes specifically. Um, so aerobic capacity really refers to um, someone's ability or capacity to sustain a bout of exercise for a really long time. We're thinking, you know, maybe 15, 20 minutes plus up to two, three hours. Um, and aerobic capacity really means that you're sustaining a certain level of output for a long time and your heart rate is staying in a, in a heart rate zone that's not, you know, probably probably below about 70% of your max heart rate would be a true aerobic state. Um, and you know, when you're in, aer in, a, in an aerobic state, you can maintain that level of performance for a really long time, okay? So getting down to the, the nitty gritty details, the aerobic capacity really is measured in uh, VO2 max, which is our, this is our picture here. Um, and you can measure VO2 max in different people in a, in a variety of ways. The most accurate, you'd wear kind of a, a monitor over your mouth and it would measure the rate of exchange of CO2 and O2 within your body and lungs. Um, so here we have a picture of our lungs. We can kind of see that the, the efficiency with which we um, transfer O2 and CO2 th throughout our body dictates our level of performance in aerobic activities. As far as VO2 max goes, VO2 max is our, is our gold standard measurement for aerobic capacity. Um, anywhere from like zero to 35, and again, these are, these are general numbers. Um, zero to 35 is kind of more of our sedentary populations, people that aren't uh, participating in aerobic training very often. Um, anywhere from like 35 to 55 is like, it's like pretty good, pretty average, like you're, you have a pretty good aerobic capacity. 55 and above is, is, would be considered elite. Um, kind of a little random factoid is our, the, the highest recorded uh, VO2 max is about 94 uh, milliliters per kilogram per minute. And that's kind of a confusing um, measurement, but it, it basically measures the amount of air you're exchanging and it's based off your body weight and it's per minute, okay? Obviously, if you have a zero aerobic capacity, you are dead. So we're, we're trying to avoid that. Um, so kind of going forward here, aerobic capacity has a lot of different implications for different populations. Um, you know, and, and us specifically, we like to focus on athletes, but we want to cater to the general population as well. Um, so for general population, aerobic capacity has a lot of good implications for uh, longevity, uh, cardiovascular health, and really reducing the risk of cardiovascular incidence. So even if you're not, you know, a high level athlete, um, increasing your aerobic, aerobic capacity and doing um, exercise that promotes a strong uh, heart, lungs, and really musculoskeletal system is going to be is going to be good for your longevity and good for your uh, health as far as preventing uh, cardiovascular incidents down the line. As far as an athlete, and we're going to get into this a little bit more in later videos, but as far as an athlete goes, um, the aerobic capacity is really the foundation with which you build your athleticism on. Meaning that you know even if I'm a, even if I'm a football player, um, you are. It, it's very it's necessary that you have a strong aerobic capacity because you know say you know maybe it's a no huddle situation or maybe it's late in the fourth quarter you need to be recovering from these plays really quickly and that recovery happens through your aerobic system okay so the stronger you are aerobically the quicker you're going to recover even if it's even if it's, if it's from sprints or from lifting anything like that um, the recovery aspect of those activities is done through the aerobic system and like I said, we're gonna get into that a little bit more in depth later, how to implement aerobic training, how to implement uh, proper recovery methods, things like that. Um, but for right now, we're just trying to introduce the topic of aerobic capacity to you. Um, and like I said, we'll get in more in depth in later videos. If you guys like the video, go ahead and hit like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.